Hello guys, how are you? My name is Ehato Christian Osaze. This is our second life edition of the Chris Ehato Mindset Academy online today. The first time we came online in the morning, we talked about um, tips on how to produce a digital yearbook and uh, we talked about the fact that you need to have a team if you have to produce a quality yearbook and there's a need for you to start on time to assemble your team and produce your yearbook ASAP. So this evening, let us quickly talk about how to grow online. How to grow online. Remember, we also said in the morning when we had our live show that see your online yearbook as a documentary because your activity in January, February, March, April, May, June, down up to December, you know, your yearbook captures everything that you do in a year. So it is actually a documentary because it becomes a reference point if you're trying to refer to the activity that has taken place in your life in the course of the year, you can always go back and make references. But how do you grow online? You are a new business or you're an established business and you want more customers you want to make more profits and then of course you see the internet the online space as a space where you can grow yourself and you can grow your business how do you grow online one way to grow online is to make sure that you have the tools that are needed to take you online like you have a laptop you have a palm top or you have a cell phone, a mobile phone. These are physical tools that you can use to grow yourself online. Now, if you have a laptop, you have a phone, another important stuff is audio. The audio device of the laptop or the audio device of the phone is not as good as those external devices that you can Attach now imagine if I was not using this mic the audio of this video would not be as audible or as clear as Possible and it may not be able to filter a certain noise because one of the things that can affect the quality of your audio is external noise and also the time when you shoot because if you are located in a busy environment or in a busy place there will be a lot of noise so one way to make sure that you are able to grow online is to make sure that your audience have access to quality audio. Another one that is also extremely, extremely important is the light. The light. You cannot joke with the light. You cannot joke with the audio because the video or the online material or the online um, visual you are trying to project must be clear i'm not saying it should be crystal clear don't um put in so much money when you're just starting but however as you grow online you will get to know the importance of the light and the importance of the sound the audio quality and the light quality and then secondly thirdly sorry it's extremely important that you must be a good storyteller for you to grow online you need to be a good storyteller. People love stories. One way to make your materials, the project online or the things you bring online to resonate with people is to make sure that you tell a good story. From time to time, you will hear stories about our failures, stories about our successes, and of course, stories that touches the heart but however if you don't have a good story of your own to tell you can borrow stories from people so read books watch other videos watch others who are growing online and see how they grow online the growth offline and the growth online is really not the same because offline um, it is not as lonely and as isolatory as it is online. Take for instance, I'm shooting this video right now. 
I am the only one in the studio. But if I was to do something of this nature um, offline, you would have a lot of people around. So tell a good story. Learn on how to, um, you know, infuse quality stories into your online um, living. So and another very good stuff that will help you to grow online is just like this video. It's called a sit down video. You must learn to sit down and speak into the camera so that people can get to relate with you. I can afford to do this stuff, maybe just showing other visuals or buildings or cars or whatever and just be talking behind the scene. That is actually a faceless video. But for you to grow online, to build your brand online, you must put a face to your brand. My name is Ehato Christian Saze. Like I, the introduction will always be a mental real estate and education. All right. Um, uh, the Christmas Digital Mindset Academy is about helping people to make sense of social media. So these are some of the things that you do when you sit down before the camera and talk. You're able to introduce yourself. You're able to put a face to the person behind the brand and everything. So another stuff you can also do is that you can visit your old stories, you know, your old videos, your old materials online, and you can react to your previous materials online. So um, when you do that, you know, because there are times when you pick other people's materials to react to them, you know, either YouTube or Facebook or Instagram can session you for breaching community guidelines. So when you react to your own videos, your old materials, you are able to um, recreate or create more new excitement around the things that you do. As you do all these things, as you work on the light, you work on the audio, you work on your stories, you work on your video formats, you are building your life online and you are growing online. Because with time, your your small audience can grow into bigger audience. So, and as you do that, with time, you can bring products and services to people because they're already used to you, they're already familiar with your content and all that. And then something else I would like to say as well too, people are crazy about numbers. People want, they believe that um, the more views that they have, um, the, the more uh, strong or the more acceptable that they are. No, don't be crazy about that. With time you grow, because it takes time to grow from zero to one, from one to two. There are times your views, especially on YouTube, your views may drop. Don't be discouraged. There are times the people who follow you, you choose not to follow you again, your subscribers will drop, don't worry. Just a matter of time. Actually, it takes one video, it takes one material online for you to blow up. It takes just one breakthrough, just one material, you know, for you to grow. And but it's, it's, it's extremely important that you give out a lot of free quality content. You give out a lot of free quality content. Don't let all your videos, don't let all your materials be about buy, 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 sell, sell, sell. No, no. Okay, try to give out value ahead of trying to ask people to buy one or two things that you sell. So be a person of value, be somebody who is interested in the people that watch your content. Just be interested in what they want to know. So that is why at times it is important that people who watch our content, they, you know, uh, send, give us feedback, pass comment, tell to us, tell us what you want us to talk about, what you want us to produce, so that we can prepare for some of those things and then help you to grow as well. So when it comes to the online space, you are growing, we are growing. The folks who watch our content are benefiting from our content and they are growing. So let us quickly do a recap of what we have talked about. We have talked about the need for you to have a good audio, have good light, have stories, do a sit-down format of video, and then 
but you can also react to your own materials, your own videos, and uh, don't be discouraged by the number of views that you have from time to time. So I hope you've learned something today. My name is Ekato Christina Sazen. Have a great day. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Ciao.